have done the homework hello have done the homework or not yes, sir we can yeah. sir i actually couldn't do the homework why rago sir actually we are having a function in our house sir and uh, we have to go out to do the preparations and all sir can i show yeah but turn on your cam nobody is turning on your cam what happened Yes, sir. One minute. Yeah, Satrika. Good. You have written the parts also. Very good. The remaining people. So this time, no, sir. Sorry, this I time I am going to complain in the group itself. Nobody is doing the homework, daily homework. What I am giving for you. It's not the first time, right? I already told you in the last two last sir, class also. Sir, I, did, sir I didn't uh, mark all, sir. I marked the main, sir. Just yes, so one, I'll just show it to you. So can I tell our functions? Yeah, Satvika. But one minute. Let me discuss about the homework. Then we'll start the class. I have given the homework last to last class that you didn't complete yes, at all. And last yeah, class I gave the homework that also didn't sir, complete. Can you see? Yeah, I can see it. Right. But that is not the homework that I told you, right? I told you to draw the structure of the flower. Yeah. It's not the sir, structure. Sir, I of the forgot to flower. draw. Sir. Every time you will forgot to draw, that when you will remember. The next homework I'll do. Sir, uh, can I show you next class as I'm not able to on my video? Okay. Okay. So tell me first, what are the topics we discussed in this chapter? Then we'll start the class today's class. First, we'll come to. Go ahead. What are the topics we subtopics we discussed in this chapter? Sir. What are the subtopics we discussed in this chapter? Hmm. Sir, I don't know. Sir, I don't know all the topics. You don't know all the topics. Yes, sir. Oh, next. Jade, what about Jade? Sir, I didn't do sir. Hmm. Sir, sir, I have a doubt, sir. Sir, you told that sir today uh, in uh, in this test you gave ten plus one right, sir. You gave the production and. In the last class itself, I said you right reproduction, respiration in organisms that we'll discuss in the Wednesday topic itself. The stress will change again. Reproduction in the plants. Actually, you told that we'll see. We'll see. I said, but uh, this topic we are going to continue, right? So only I give the rest on this, okay? So okay. So today we'll start with the parts of the flower. Already we discussed this one: sepals, petals, stamen. Yes or no? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So pistil, the top part of the pistil is called the stigma. Stigma style and the ovary. Inside that we have the ovules. Have you finished this topic or not in the last class? 
Yes, sir. We discussed. Okay. So today we'll start with the types of flowers. So the flower is the main reproductive part of the plants. So all the flowers are not same. You have the two types of flowers are there. So one is a unisexual flower. The next one is a bisexual flower. So what is the meaning of unisexual sir, flower? Sir. The, what is the meaning of unisexual flower? It will contain sir, only. Sir, unisexual flower uh, like one flower and only only male or female. Whereas okay. in bisexual flowers, both reproductive parts are there. Uh, male and female will be there, and whereas uh, in unisexual, only either female or male will be. So if you take the unisexual uh, flower, okay. it will contain only. Either male or the female reproductive parts. Okay. Sir, in unisexual flower, only one one parent only is needed, only sir. Yeah, only either one male reproductive organs will be there or the female reproductive organs will be there. Okay, sir. Okay, like uh, what is the male reproductive organs in the flowers? Sir, yeah, stamen, right? Yes, sir. So again, the stamen will contain the two parts. What are those two parts? Sir, anther and, and filament. Anther and filament. Very good. So this is the main male reproductive organ in the flowers. What about the female? What about the female reproductive organs in the flower? Pistil. Pistil, or you can call it as a carpel also. C A R P E L. Carpel. So again, it will contain how many parts? So again, it will three. contain the three parts. Up ovary, uh, ovary, Sir, ovary, and... stigma, and style of ovary. Ovary, stigma, style. Ovary. So you are not saying in the order. First, above part will be called as an stigma yes sir Below above part is stigma style. and middle part is style and bottom part bottom is bottom ovary bottom part is the ovary inside the ovary we have the ovules okay these are the oh, yes. female reproductive organs in the flower so if you take yeah. unisexual flower only either male will be there or the female will be there both will not be available at all that's why we'll call it as an incomplete flower so it is called as an incomplete flower then what are the examples of the unisexual flowers what are the examples? Papaya, papaya. watermelon, or cucumber. Example, papaya. But carrot also. Carrot will have the flowers. No, no, no. Carrot will grow in under the soil, right? It's a modified stem. Cauliflower. Cauliflower. It is also type. Okay, so next one is the bisexual flower. Bisexual means what? Both the male as well as the female the organ. organs will be there in the bisexual flower. Okay. So it is called as a complete flower. Sir, yes, sir. Okay. okay so what are the functions of the flower then what are the functions sir, of the flower like, uh, sir like the function of the flower is to make the male as well as the female gametes pollination Sir, and, also, and also to ensure the fertilization that uh, would take in the so, so that uh, process to uh, take in the seed formation. The main function of the flower is the fusion of the male and the female cells to form the gametes. It will happen with the help of the fertilization process. Okay, so whenever these male and female gametes fuse together, it will happen. The formation of the zygote will be happen. Okay, from this only. Oh, so it will up. even happen if it's from uh, different flowers. Yeah, it will happen. There is only a cross pollination, right? No, sir. Like different, not if it's a rose and if it's a sunflower like that. No, no, no. Okay, sir. Okay, so 
so form of the formation of the zygote what will happen it will grow into the embryo and it will go embryo into the fruits inside the fruits what are the seeds are there that is only the ovules present inside the flower okay that we'll discuss one by one so first one is the pollination process so what is the meaning of pollination sir it's the transfer of pollen grains it is the transfer of pollen transfer grains. of the pollen grains from the anther of a stamen to the stigma of the pistil okay. the transfer of pollen grains from the anther of the stamen to the stigma of the pistil is called as an pollination process so it can happen in the two ways this transfer will take place in the two ways either it happens in the self pollination that means within the flower itself or it can happen by the cross pollination cross pollination means between the two different flowers okay that is called as cross pollination so first self pollination means what whether self pollination is possible in the case of unisexual flower No, sir. It has to be a bisexual flower because the pollen grains will again transfer to the same flower, right? From where the pollen grains have been like uh, released, it will go back to the same flower. Very good. Self pollination will not happen in the unisexual flower. It generally occurs only in the bisexual flower. So when the pollen grains from the anther of one flower reaches to the stigma of the same flower, this call is in self pollination. So it will happen within the flower itself. Okay. Next one is cross pollination. Cross pollination means what? Whenever the pollen grains of anthers of a flower of one plant are transferred to the stigma of the flower of another plant of the same kind, is called as in cross pollination. So pollen grains of one plant will transfer to the stigma of the another plant of the same kind, is called as in cross pollination purpose. But how these pollen grains will transfer from one plant to other plant? What is the transportation medium here? What is the transportation medium? Sir, like, what do you mean by transportation medium? Means which one will carry these pollen grains from one plant to other plant? Hmm. Insects, wind, water, animals, birds. These will only carry, right? Oh yes, sir. The pollination. pollination. Yeah, these insects or the birds or the wind or the water or any other animals which will transfer the pollen grains from one plant to the other plant, right? The pollen grains will not go on its own from one place to other place, right? Yes or no? Except wind. Yes, sir. In the wind, then it will flow with the help of the wind direction. There is no issue, but In the remaining cases, these insects will attach the pollen grains to their body, or the animals or the birds will attach the pollen grains to the body, and this will, whenever it is going and attaching with the other flower, now it will transfer there. So these are the transportation medium for transferring the pollen grains from one plant to the other plant. There is a cross pollination. Clear? Yes, sir. So these are also called as an agents of pollination. What is the name? Agents, agents of, of pollination. So, what are the different agents you have seen before? Like wind, water, insects, birds, and the animals. So, these are the called as agents of pollination. Okay. So, once the pollen grains are transferred to the stigma of the female reproductive organ, what will happen? The pollen grains slowly moves from sigma to style. Again, finally goes from style to the ovary. So inside the ovary, what will happen again? Pollen grain means what? It is the male cells, or you can say male gametes. Sir, pollen grain means the upper part, sir. Like uh, it will have it. No, no, no. Pollen grain means it is the male gametes. These male gametes and go and combine sir, with the. Sir, what is meaning of gamete? Gamete is nothing but the cells only. You know about the cell, right? Yes, sir. Cell, sir. Excuse me, sir. Yeah, Aditi. Sir, I've read read in my textbook, sir, of school that um uh, some plants also pollinate uh, from explosion, sir. That like their seeds explode. If you take self self pollination, okay, 
the pollen grains will be there inside the anther. Whenever the anther explodes, the pollen grains will go and spit on the female part of the flower. That is a stigma. Understanding? So automatically the self pollination is happening, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Clear yes. now? So that is only self pollination, transferring of pollen grains from the, in the within the same flower, either by explosion or any other way of means. That is only the self pollination purpose. So once the these pollen grains are there, right? These are the male reproductive cells. We can call it as a cell or the gamete. Both are same. Okay. So whenever these are male gametes are transferring to the female gametes, they will form the new cells. That process is only called as in fertilization what is the fertilization process the process in which male gametes fuse with the female gametes to form the zygote is called as a fertilization process clear this yes sir. you can see it in the diagram clearly here so this is the upper part of this is called as a stigma. This is the style and this is the ovary. So whenever the pollen grains is transferring either by self pollination or by cross pollination, first it will move from stigma to the style. Then it will go slowly and combine with the ovary. So inside the ovary only these male gametes will fuse together with the female gametes. So this is only the fertilization process, the formation of zygote or we can call it as fertilized egg. What is the name? Fertilized egg. So after the fertilized egg only, we'll get the, what you'll get? From the gametes to the zygote. From the zygote, you'll get the embryo. From the embryo, you'll get the fruits. Understanding? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So just read this paragraph. When the pollens are deposited on the stigma of the pistil, it begins to germinate. After some time, a long pollen tube is developed from the pollen grain, which pass through the style towards the female gamete in the ovary. The male gametes moves down the pollen tube and tube enter the ovule present inside the ovary. Clear this paragraph? Yes, sir. Any doubts? No, doctor. Okay, so this is the process of formation of zygote. The process of formation of zygote, what is the name, process name? Fertilization. Fertilization. Okay, the tip of the pollen tube burst. That's what, how the pollen grains will transfer. That's what I'm explaining in this. The tip of the pollen tube burst and the male gametes come out of the pollen tube. Inside the ovary, the male gametes fuse with the female gametes present in an ovule to form a fertilized egg, which is called as a zygote. So zygote will develop into the embryo, again, which will develop into the part of the seed that develops into the new plant. So that is what we discussed until now in the fertilization process and the pollination process. Clear up to this? Yes, sir. Next one is the fruit and the seed formation. Rago, read this paragraph. Yeah, yes, sir. After the fertilization, the ovary grows into the fruit and the ovule develops into the seeds. The outer parts of the flower, that is, petals, sepals, and stamen, become dry and fall off. Stigma and style also fall off, leaving the ovary on the uh, recipient. Taken. The zygote inside the ovary gets its food from the ovule and grows by cell division to form an embryo. 
parts of the ovule develop into the seed covering or seed coat fruits are the ripened ovary of the flower which protect the seed some fruits are fleshy and juicy example mango apple and orange while some are ha hard like almonds and walnuts good sir i finished yeah just tell what you understand from that yeah yes sir sir uh, once the fertilization is over it is uh, um, we get the fruit right that fruit is nothing but the ovary sir the ovary and the seeds inside the fruit is nothing but the ovules and uh, the the sepals and uh, we learnt about different uh, uh, i mean like parts of the flowers right um sepals uh, stigma stamen they will all fall off and it, and it will develop into the fruits and the seeds and the um, and the zygote uh, uh, the zygote will be present inside the ovary right it will get its food from the ovule and uh, it will uh, grow by cell division only to form an embryo and after that uh, fruits uh, the, as i told in the beginning fruits are formed from the ovary we can say that they are the uh, fruits are the ripened ovary of a flower and they protect the seeds because even fruits have different layers also we will uh, we'll learn that also like pericarp and all and uh, a few are fleshy and a few are hard also and fleshy and juicy fruits example is a mango and hard uh, examples are almonds and okay good understand are any doubts in this paragraph no doubt sir hmm? no doubt sir so next one is the seed dispersal what is the meaning of seed dispersal What is the meaning of seed dispersal? Yeah, Aditi, you can read this paragraph. Seeds are developed from the ovule. Seeds contain an em embryo enclosed in a protective seed coat. Embryo. Embryo enclosed in a protective seed coat. Plants produce a large number of seeds. When these seeds fall down, they start growing. If a large number of seeds fall on the same place, they will not get enough space for water and light, and will not develop into a healthy plant. Thus, the seeds are removed away from away by some external agent agencies to far off places. Okay. So that is a seed dispersal. What is the meaning of that? Seeds are developed from the ovule. Sir, like, uh, sir, like seeds will develop in the ovule, and uh, the seeds will contain embryo. Wait. What happened, Prithik? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Horizontally. So seeds are developed from the ovule. So seed contain an embryo. Wait, two minutes, sir. Two. So the brother is disturbing you. Yes, sir. I will send it out. Send it out. You can continue. So this is a developer from the ovule. What is the meaning of ovule? Which are the small particles present inside the ovary ovary of the flower, right? That is called as an ovules. So seeds are developed from the ovule. Seeds contain an embryo enclosed in the protective seed coat. Okay, so each and every seed will contain the embryos which are enclosed in the protective seed coat. Plant produce a large number of seeds. When these seeds fall down, they start growing. Understand up to this. Each and every seed present in the plant yes, contains yes. the embryo, which will grow into the number of plants also. Which will grow. Each and every seed will produce one plant. But whenever the all the seeds fall together in one place, 
all the plants will not get the sufficient nutrient from that place, right? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Okay. So all the plants will not get the sufficient nutrient from that place. So only few plants will grow healthy. The remaining plants will die as uh, usual. Okay. So the number of seeds falls on the same place. They will not get enough space for water and light and will not develop into the healthy plant. Thus, the seeds are moved away from the external agencies to far off places. Understand this line? If all the seeds fall into the same place, they will not get the sufficient nutrients from the soil. So that what they will do? Instead of dying, they will travel to the different places with the help of the what agents? We studied already this one. What is the name of the agents? Sir, agents of pollination, sir. Agents of pollination. So, with the help of what are the agents of pollination? Wind. Sir, water, wind, air, insects, birds, air. human beings, and uh, uh, that's it, sir. Atmosphere. Huh? Even birds, sir, even water, birds. Sir, water also. Water also. Yeah, so water. water also. Water, okay. Water, birds, insects, wind, all these are the agents of the pollination. So they will only transfer these seeds from one place to other place. Okay. So that they will go in the different, different places and they will grow. That is only the speed dispersal. Dispersal means what? Dispersing of the seeds only, right? The meaning itself. So the process by which the seeds are scattered to different places far away from their parents is called as dispersal. The seeds and fruits are dispersed away through various agencies like water, wind, birds, and some animals. Sometimes seed dispersal takes place naturally by the explosion or the bursting of the fruits. Any doubts up to this? No. Any doubts? No, sir. No, sir. What about the remaining people? No, sir. No, sir. no doubts. Are you there in the class today? No. Are any? Okay. Sir, can I read the next paragraph? Sir, can I, sir, Rithvika, raise my hand? So, mostly, start, uh, we'll end the chapter today itself. Only these points are there. Okay. Yeah, Rithvik, see dispersal agents. Dispersal sir, agents, sir, I didn't understand what you said, sir. Huh? Sorry? Sir, you said uh, the uh, we'll end up the class by today. What you said, sir? Oh, up topics. Sir, I'm reading. We are going to end finish this chapter by today itself, I am saying. Okay, sir. Yes, Ritvik. Sea dispersing agents. Wind, water, animals, birds, and humans are the dispersing agents of seeds. They are described below. This I can't hear you. What's that? Sorry. Hello, can you hear me or not? Sir? Sir, can you share screen, sir? Actually, uh, the share screen has gone. Yeah. Yes, sir. Natural habitat. Disposal by water. The seeds of some plants that have an outer, outer fibrous or spongy covering are dispersed through the water. They have the ability to float, float in the water and drift along with uh, its flow. Seeds of water lily, lotus, chestnut, sing, uh, uh, chestnut and coconut are dispersed through the water. The coconut fruit have fibers, fibrous outer coating, which enables them to float in water and carried away by flowing part, flowing part water to away of places, to far away of places. Sir, shall I read? Sir, shall I continue? 
Yeah, disposal by birth. The birth is proved along with the seeds. These seeds are, have heard hard outer covering. The seeds are dispersed to some other places through the bird faces. The digestive enzymes present in the digestive system of birth help in dissolving the hard seed, uh, seed coat. And when they are released or exited along with the faces, they are germinate. They, they germinate. Ne For example, the neem seeds are dispersed by the bird faces. So they cannot see most. Disposable by animals. Excuse me, sir, are you there? Sir, sir, we can't oh, hear sorry, you, sir. Sorry, sorry. The, so can you the discussion by, dispersal by animals. So can I... Okay, okay, I'll repeat again what I'm saying. So dispersed by wind or the air. So sir, actually it is showing remaining time only three minutes. Really? But it's not showing sir. anything to me? Sir, only remaining time is three minutes and the class will end. With... Okay, if yeah. the class is going yes, to... Sir. Okay, okay. It's not showing anything to me. If its class is going to end now, again you can join. You can join or no need. You can join again. Okay, that uh, limited time it's came again. We'll which uh, we reacted it again one hour classes. Okay, don't worry. So yeah, once the class is ended, I join once again the same meeting ID. So dispersal by wind or the air. Which are the seats are light in weight? Okay, and hair like structure, they will disperse faster with the help of the wind and the air. Example is seeds of the maple, drumsticks having wings, seeds of mother or the oak or the cotton seeds. These can be dispersed easily with the help of the wind or the air. Okay, all this will happen naturally itself. So without any external agencies. Next, dispersal by water. What are the seeds will disperse by water? Remaining. Seed dispersed by water is uh, coconut. Yeah, coconut also, but um, coconut also will take. Yeah, but the generally the coconut um, will not grow with the help of these flowers and all, right? We'll keep again the coconut complete coconut in the ground. Mm, yes, sir. No, the complete uh, coconut will have to this. It will float on the water. It will go to the different places and again it will grow as them plant but it will take some more longer timer compared to the other seeds but exam most common thing is lily lotus okay chestnut there is only singara these are the most common one seeds which are dispersed by the water and grow as the plants if you see in the water if one lily is there now within less time again the many lily plants will grow together because of the Lily seeds will disperse easily in the water. Same way with the lotus also. Yes, sir, no? Yes, sir. Okay, next one is dispersed by words. Already you know these things. So, so birds. Dispersal by animals. Can I read because I didn't get chance? Okay. So, dispersal uh, by birds. What? Wait, wait, wait. So, dispersal by birds. What will happen? Generally, the birds will eat some seeds. Again, they will excrete the waste. So from that also, it will start germinating. Example is the name seeds. Or the birds, some of 